Um, Zephyr, when Mom and Dad told you to find someplace else to live, I don't think they meant here. Well, it's not their house, so by definition, it's someplace else. Am I right, Rainbows? Stop boogling me and help settle this. <sighs> you know what? I totally forgot that I promised to help Pinkie Pie sprinkle something. You said you had plenty of places to go. <sighs> Fine. You can stay here. You're the best! We're gonna have so much fun. On one condition. Totally anything. You have to get a job. Cracking the whip, huh? <laughs> you always were kind of bossy. Zephyr Breeze. Kidding. Get a job. Absolutely. You have no idea how bad morning sun is for your mane. Remember how we talked about you getting a job? It was just yesterday, and it's totally on my to-do list, but you can't expect me to find something befitting my awesomeness overnight. I thought you might say that. So I did it for you. What? These fabrics all need to be dyed those colors. Do you think you can handle that? Um, I don't know. You get started while Fluttershy and I head to the store for more supplies. Ta-da! Good luck! Thanks for giving my brother a job. I just hope he's up to the task. Oh, darling. Dying fabric is the simplest thing. You just dip cloth in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Rarity, you're back! What did you do? Since you talk to animals all the time, I just figured it runs in the family, so why not outsource this stuff, you know? Shh. Turns out the animal communication thing isn't genetic. Zephyr, I asked you to do this job, not to pawn it off on innocent woodland creatures. Okay. I guess you have some feelings about this, but you should know it's basically your cat's fault for walking by and giving me the idea. But I'm actually kind of into this look. So I guess what I'm saying is, you're welcome. Uh, what, uh, what, oh. uh, Zephyr, this is just unacceptable. Wow. I guess I know when my efforts aren't appreciated. <gasps> Whoa, those are tall. I'm glad you noticed, because they're your new job. What? You said you were taking me to tea with the princess. Actually, I said I was going to tea with the princess. You're going to work. Sis, come on! Don't worry, Zephyr. It'll be easy. I just need a Pegasus pony to fly up and wipe each window down from top to bottom. And I'm here to make sure you do it right. Wow, Zephyr, this looks amazing. Well, you know, like you said, it was easy. Where's Spike? Up here! You were supposed to supervise, not do all the work. I was supervising, and then Zephyr asked me about different cleaning techniques and which one was best, and if I could... Hey, I did all the work! Don't let him fool you. Old Spike is quite the taskmaster. Oh, come on, sis. I had to ask Spike to make sure I was doing it right. You didn't do it at all! <gasps> well, I guarantee there won't be any fooling around on the next job. Next job? That's right, Zep! You're coming with me! You don't have to come up with some excuse to hang out with me, Rainbows. Let's just go for a fly and see where the day takes us. We're going to Wonderbolt's headquarters, and I am going to give you a job so simple and straightforward, not even you can weasel your way out of it. And the second you try, I'm going to zap you with a storm cloud. Got it? Oh, I got it. I can already feel the electricity between us. Rainbow! 
Emo Dash is crazy, okay? She expects me to do stuff right when she asks me to do it. It's insane! So you just quit? Again? Escaped is more like it. Besides, what was I supposed to do? Keep trying. Finish something for once. Maybe that way you'd actually find something you like to do. That all sounds fine for your friends, but it's just not me. Then I'm sorry, Zephyr, but I don't think you can live here. Fine. I'll just go live in the woods like my four ponies before me. Guess the only breeze this Zephyr can count on is his own. <laughs>